Hi, this is Drew with Northridge Community Church. Uh, I was wanting to go ahead and show you guys how to get the tap delay set up um, on the X32. Uh, I've had a couple of you guys ask about um, the, the tap delay, so I just wanted to give you guys a quick tutorial on how to do that. Um, the first thing that we want to do is get um, that effect uh, in our effects rack. So uh, what we would do is we go up here to our effects button and press effects. And I'll zoom in on this so you guys can see a little bit better. Um, but on my third effects rack, I have a stereo delay. Um, so basically, we want to go ahead and scroll down to that um, by using these encoder knobs. And the uh, select one is over here on the right. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go down to um, effects rack three, where is the stereo delay. And the delay, the type of effect is adjusted right here. Uh, so this encoder knob uh, will change what is actually in this effect rack. And so I'm currently using the stereo delay. Uh, there's a bunch of different things that you can set up in here, but I'm just talking about the stereo delay today. And then you would select your source um, by using these two knobs. Now I have my board set up where I have four effects racks. Um, so bus, um, 13, 14, 15, and 16 are a uh, post fader group um, that is set up for my effects. So I have uh, a vocal reverb, an instrument reverb, my tap delay, and then an additional effects that I use every now and then. Um, so I want to go ahead and assign uh, this effect rack to my um, my bus 15, which is my tap delay. Uh, so we go ahead and use this rotary knob over here on the left-hand side uh, to go ahead and select uh, bus 15, and we would go ahead and click uh, to uh, assign that, and then we would uh, rotate this one to go ahead and say bus 15, and then we would press select. Uh, these two are mute knobs, uh, so you can mute um, the... Um, effect within the effects section. Um, I also have my uh, user assignable um, thing, uh, part of the board that I have assigned to uh, have a mute button there as well. Um, so that is this part. So let me go ahead and zoom out here and then I'll show you guys the rest of the stuff that we do with the groups um, on the board. Okay. So as you can see, I have my bus 9 through 16 over here um, as my tap delay. So I'm going to go ahead and select this, and I'm going to go ahead and press Sends on Fader. And so this is now going to show me what I have going into uh, my tap delay. And I'll go ahead and add my, uh, my channel here so you guys uh, should hear the tap delay now. And let's see here. So let's go ahead and turn off the tap delay so we don't have that going right now. Okay, so um, what we have is I have selected uh, bus 15, press sends on fader, turned up the, the channels that I want going into my tap delay. Um, so this would be my main uh, vocal channels um, for the effects that I'm uh, using it for. Uh, so I, I turned up my 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 microphone right here uh, in this group um, so that I can send uh, my signal into the tap delay. So you can see up here on the panel, on the LCD screen, uh, that we have some um, channel in the effects rack. So you can see that right there. All right, so let's go ahead and zoom back out and I'll uh, teach you guys the rest of how to get this thing set up. Okay. So uh, the effects rack is uh, is built in uh, to come back on our effects return. So over on the left-hand side of the board, if we press uh, aux in USB FX returns, uh, this will all come up. So our effects three uh, comes back on uh, these two faders right here. So uh, FX3 left and FX3 right. Uh, so if I go and turn these up, it will actually turn my effect up. So check. Oh, I'm not doing this right. Let's see here. I was on sends on fader, sorry. Um, so if we go and turn this up, now you will hear me in the effect. And I'm sure that that's very annoying. 
And so that's how to actually get the tap delay set up. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go over into the user defined section and assign uh, the tap delay um, so I can adjust the tap by pressing this button. Um, so what we can do is we go over here and press the view button in the user assigned section. And that will pull up on the LCD screen um, all of the things that we can punch into um, our buttons here. And so the cool thing about the user defined section is there's actually three sets. There's set A, set B, and set C. And so we can go ahead and go through and see uh, the different set A, set B, and set Cs. Um, and so right now I currently have um, button uh, 7. Um, set for my time and the rotary knob as my time as well. So let's show you guys how to actually get this set up. So we're going to go ahead and go down to set C. Uh, so we're going to go page over to set C. And I'm going to go ahead and go over to encoder number three. So basically, we're just going to scroll this down to encoder three. And we are going to now, the target type, we're going to adjust to FX parameters. And we are going to press to assign that. And now we're going to go to the FX three, because that's where our tap delay is and press assign. And now we have all these different parameters that we can actually adjust on the fly in this user defined section. Um, so we're going to go ahead and select time because I want my rotary knob to be adjusting the time uh, of my effects. So then we press assign. And now we're going to also go and adjust button seven to be time as well. So now we're going to go back to this rotary knob and go down to button seven which is right underneath rotary uh, knob three. And now we're going to go down to effect button. And we're going to go down to effects three parameters and parameter time assign. So now if we look on, I'm going to go ahead and get out of this real quick. There we go. So let me zoom out on this, and now down here, you can see that button 7 right here is um, my time for effects 3. So if I go and start tapping this a lot faster, you'll notice that it's going faster. So now if we listen to the effects um, on the tap delay, check, check. check. Or if I went really slow, check, check, check. So that's a quick explanation on how to adjust that. Now also we can adjust it by using the rotary knob. So this is 482. This is a lot quicker. Check, check, check. Really slow. really slow. So that's a very um, easy way of setting up the effects uh, three as a tap delay. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to post below. Um, you should be able to get it kind of figured out. Uh, also, um, in the user defined section, you can assign colors to these. Uh, so if you wanted to change uh, this one to be uh, blue, you can also do that in the same spot where you got over to adjust uh, these. Um, there's the set color over here on the on the left hand side. So say we wanted um, these to be uh, purple. Um, for set C or, you know, green for set B or blue for set A, all of that stuff you can be assigned. Um, you cannot assign individual colors to these separately currently. Um, that might be a, a addition that they'll add later. But currently you can only assign one color per set, which is good. Um, it kind of helps you figure out where you are. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to post below. Thank you.